What is up guys? Today we're going to be working on the Cressida again and I was working on it a little bit last night and I had a little bit of a breakthrough. Since the last time we were here I did put a new layer of Bondo on this after I had sanded it down and I found out that I wanted to build it up a little bit especially on this edge and so I took some of the tape and I had measured it out as you can see my mark right there where the tape was. I had it all the way across here so that was a perfect line and so essentially what I kind of figured out is how I can use that tape to actually get the body line to be perfect all the way across and so what I did is I was sanding this way with the block and I got this whole side all layered out but then this would all be you know kind of squiggly and all like that so then I'd come back from this other side and that's what I was doing on that one but it wouldn't really be too straight all the way across there. Whereas last night, I did the same thing. I did this whole thing this way, and then I taped it across there, and then I sanded this way just until I got to that line, and the majority of the door was absolutely perfect, but there were some points that I wanted to build up, so that's why I went ahead and did another wipe with the Bondo. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start blocking this again, and I'll kind of show you through what I was doing. I know this is probably not a very new process, but it is new for me. Uh, I wasn't taught this by anyone, so I think it's a kind of good process to know, and I'd like to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. So now I have the bottom portion of the door all flat. So besides this edge right here, just this little bit, the whole rest of the panel is all flat, even past a little bit where the tape is. And so now I'm gonna go from the back side and then block that until that's flat. Now I've just completed this top side and it looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more Bondo on this edge. You can see that I wasn't able to hit any of that down there. So that needs to be built up a tiny bit. And then over here, uh, I wasn't able to blend this entirely. So that means that I'm probably gonna bring this down just because I know that this is a little bit of a high and uh, I know I built this up and that's why you see that I couldn't hit that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tape off. I'm gonna continue hitting this side a little bit and then that way I'll be able to blend this in and bring this down a little bit because you can see that even in this little spot, this is pretty much perfect, this area right here. And uh, you can see that I have very little Bondo right there. So if I could try and get that all the way across, that'd be pretty nice. You can tell that this side is a little bit higher. That's why there's more Bondo uh, going further out. So basically the edges need to be taken down a little bit. So I know it's really hard to tell over camera, especially when there's all the different layers of Bondo on here, but this thing is pretty damn straight and there's a really nice body line all the way across it. Uh, it does need a little bit more work, uh, but most of this is gonna be able to be taken care of with uh, filler primer. Uh, this side still needs a little bit of Bondo. I'll probably take care of that after I primer this thing. Uh, I wiped the whole thing off. I'm gonna have to use alcohol and I'm gonna primer this whole door right after I tape it off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw some primer on this thing, probably do some of the finishing touches on the edges here the little bit of low spots and then I'm gonna move on to the other door the rear door that I said was pretty much how I wanted it but now that I kind of started doing that door and that door looks so much better I'd like to do this door as well So now this door is entirely in primer and it's good enough for now. I don't even think I'm gonna fill that in right now. So now we're just gonna swap out the doors, do another wipe on this thing so that way I can build this up and do the same technique I did on the other door and then we can get this one in primer too. So I did a super poor job on this wipe, but it'll be okay. I'll probably have to do another wipe just because of how badly this was. But uh, yeah, pretty much the main point is I need to make it so that I can make this part flat far enough that I'm able to make this part flat to meet up with it. 
It's now the next day and this Bondo has more than cured. I'm gonna knock out this door and get it exactly the same as the other door. I accidentally got a little bit of Bondo in the door handle pocket and uh, yeah, that's super annoying to get out so I'm gonna have to sand a little bit of that. But anyways, while this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out this. Um, George has been working on this for a really long time. It's pretty much to the point where I just have to make this blend into the door however I want it to, and then he can go ahead and finish it off. And then as soon as this side's done, we'll be able to replicate it on the other side super easily because then we'll pretty much have all of the measurements from this thing, and we'll be able to just build it out and then you know sand it away exactly how the other side is, and it's a little bit more straightforward. But right now, I'm just gonna take a straight edge and go from around here here, either here just because of that angle there or maybe here or something and mark there and mark some around here and then just make that pretty much straight and uh, once I mark that with pencil I'll know where to take this body line down to. So the way I have it is that this line right here which uh, pretty much I took from the trunk edge and pretty much just as if I continued it from there. It might even need to come out a little bit, but that'll be fine. Um, that's a little bit more fine tuning stuff. And uh, if it's further back, that'll actually be okay. So I have it coming from here all the way to probably about half an inch from the edge because I wanna make this edge pretty much exactly the same as this, but then that way it gives us a little bit of a leeway to be able to figure out the transition between pretty much this original body panel lines and all that into this. Um, you can see that I have probably about an eighth of an inch I need to trim off right here. And that was pretty much the only thing that I was worried about uh, when George was designing this he made it so that it pretty much carried up and then it kind of swooped down right here and I didn't really like that I want a little bit smoother transition from here all the way down so now I've got this edge pretty much exactly where I want it uh, I didn't end up having any straight edges here all my rulers are back home uh, I'm definitely gonna have to bring those over here uh, but for right now this tape will do and it's pretty much as perfect as I'm going to be able to get it with this tape. Uh, it's not exactly the most straight thing, um, but it's pretty much there, and at least George, uh, next time he comes down here, if he continues working on this, he'll get the general idea of what I want. This should be dry. You saw that it pulled off the tape, and that was just because I didn't want to leave any of this excess on here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to block it this way again just to get this little lip off of here, apply the tape, and then start blocking this way. So it looks like I added just barely not enough Bondo, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another wipe on this side. And uh, you can see I taped up the door handle hole just because I don't wanna get any more in there because I know it's gonna be a pain to sand all that out of there. So my camera battery died, but I applied another layer of Bondo and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the same process and hopefully this is the last layer of Bondo before we can put it in primer. So this door is almost entirely done. I just wiped this down with alcohol. There's two parts I'd like to hit with a little bit of Bondo. That's this edge right here. And then right over here is a little bit of a low spot there. So I think I'm gonna touch up that, that, and that. And then we should be good. Uh, and then after I sand that, I'm gonna sand a little bit at that door handle that we got some Bondo in there. And then this edge needs to be cleaned up inside there. Uh, but other than that, this thing is pretty much entirely ready. So this door is entirely ready for initial primer. I've wiped it down with alcohol and everything. And so I'm pretty much ready to spray right now. So now there's about three layers of filler primer on this door and it's still a little bit tacky, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of the horses. I'm gonna put it up against the other door. I moved the door right here just so we could put them up against each other and see what they look like together. So 
So it appears that the body lines are off, which is pretty much to be expected whenever I do the doors individually. Um, I don't really have an issue with that. I think it'll be really easily correctable. I think that uh, this door will most likely have the body line moved down rather than that one moved up, just because the material will be a lot easier to bring that down. Uh, essentially, once it's on the car, all I have to do is make my tape line a little bit lower and then sand down from there. And I think it'll be super easy to take it down. But anyways, I think they look super good together. Obviously, the body lines aren't perfect, but that'll be taken care of. There's a lot more that needs to be done to these doors before they're ready for paint, so uh, don't think that these are 100% ready. I'm just trying to get everything pretty damn close, so that way we can actually start moving on to some other stuff, such as this side. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed, and peace out.